Right, you ready then? So this is another example. So we've got IQ scores, it's got a mean of 100, standard deviation of 15. So x follows a normal of 100, 15 squared. Uh, testing a theory that it changes your score, so it's going to be two-tailed because it's vague. X bar is a normal with 100, 15 squared over 80. There we go. So we're going to find the 1%. Now this is two-tailed, let me go down to here. So my, because my H0 is at mu is 100, and my H1 is at mu is not 100, I'm going to do a two tail. Uh, so, go, so it goes to 100. Was it 1%? Where is it? 1%, so it's, it's 0 0.005 at each end. Now here's the thing with the calculator. If we do an inverse normal with my area, if I'm going to use the tail as central, I need to think opposite. So if that's 1% on either on, on split between the edges, it's 0 0.99 in the middle. So my area is 0 0.99. Sigma is my 15 over root 80. And mu was my 100. If I do that, uh, it gives me two values. So if you do it, work it out, it gives you two values. It gives you an x value of 95.7, or I put a bar on there, or 104.3. So down with the edges, that's 104.3, that's 95.7. So I'd expect for my critical values, for an x value less than 95.7, or an x value greater than 104.3. If my x bar is, is in them regions, then I've got an issue. In terms of the z's, I do the same idea, uh, except it's a zero there, or 0 0.99. So I've still got my inverse normal. My area is still 0 0.99, but sigma is uh, one, mu is zero. That gives me a z value out as plus or minus 2.576. So then I have to do the z equals x minus mu over sigma over root n for both sides. If you can read that, my writing's getting worse. So I'd have like a, 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 I'd have a minus one. So minus 2.576 is x bar minus 100 over the whatever it was. What was it before? 15 over root 80. So that would give me an, an that would give me the x bar value out for 95.7, and then for plus 2.576, I use the x bar minus 100. It's just so messy. This why would you? I mean, this is from when we didn't have the possibility of doing it with a calculator. It is so much easier to do it this way if you're doing it. So that's the other way of doing it. So you'd find out that the the, um, the critical values where the edges of the critical region are. Um, so it does say, it says, oh yeah, so it says it was 102.5. So if you look where 102.5 is, so there's your 100, there's your critical value of 104.3, there's your other one of 95.7. So if it tells you that the, the X bar is 102.5, you're there, aren't you? If you're in the outside, you're rejecting H0, but because the 102.5 is less than the 104.3, we accept H0, and then you've got all the extra bit on the conclusion. There is not sufficient evidence at the 1% significance level to suggest the blah, blah, blah. Right, and then we've got some questions for you. There. Have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>